Hey, what's up, guys? I'm playing Ark Survival Ragnarok on the same server as Duncan and Simon. So I hope they're braced for some competition. I'm going to be joined by a couple of other guys, but I want to hit the ball rolling to start with uh, and get a base of operations set up so that when my friends come and join me, we have a safe place to stay and a home base to work out of. Now, all good games start with character creation, and we're going to be the prehistoric punks. Now, I want to be a dude. So we're going to go here. Ark has one of the best character creations there is. And <laughs> we want to be truly intimidating. And I don't think anything is more intimidating than a really big head on a small body. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Okay. So we have a massive head. I like. But what next? Well, now we've got to make a small body. <laughs> oh, there is something about this character creation <laughs> that just, oh my god, leg length. So do we want to be stunties? Simon is a bit of a dwarf. I'm not sure what Duncan looks like, probably super normal. But I think he's a woman actually, isn't he? What do you reckon, guys? I'm, I'm thinking maybe we want really long legs, because I think with a long stride we'll be able to run quicker. So let's try that. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. That's a good look. Prehistoric punk. This is this guy's gonna be so intimidating. They're gonna see me coming, they're gonna they're gonna crap themselves. Dinosaurs too. I look like kind of a bit of like a T-Rex. So that's it. And we're gonna call ourselves Skin. Now I believe that Duncan and Simon have started in the top left in the kind of Viking Bay jungle area. Which is fair enough, it's recommended, it's safe, it's easy. But the prehistoric punks don't need any of that. We're gonna start in the highlands. Do we want north or northeast? I'm not quite sure. Now I imagine this area is a bit more wild and rugged, a bit more untamed and harsher. But if we didn't want a challenge, why would we play a game called Survival? So we're gonna stick with this. This is our dude. <laughs> Old prehistoric Pete. And let's do it. Oh, a brave new world. So many prospects, but we're gonna tame all of the dinosaurs and become, oh, what's that in my arm? So I don't know the story behind Ark, but there is technology in this world. It feels like it's the far future. Oh man, we definitely picked the right spawn point. Look at these lush hills. Okay, first steps are just grab whatever you can. Oh my God, I just leveled up. What, what did Duncan set these seven parameters to? It must be super quick leveling. Wait, what's this? Is this? Oh, it's a bridge. I thought I'd stumbled upon Duncan's crib. A stone bridge. So people have been here. Oh, there's some real big dinosaurs over here. I wonder if these guys are friendly. Let's go say hello. They look peaceful, but I reckon if you get caught underneath... Oh, God. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, whoa! The swish of the tail. That could decapitate me. You've got to be careful with that. Oh, man, these dinosaurs are super weird. <laughs> What's going wrong? What is going wrong? Well, this is going to be our base of operations, and it looks like right over here, there's some trees. Now, fingers crossed, these are actually trees that I can, uh, I can bash down. Now, gathering has been increased on this server, and so has XP. That's why we're getting loads of level ups, and that's why trees are going down like three or four punches. Because I like to think I'm strong, but there's no way I can try to chop a tree out of existence that quick. Or even at all. So I've got stones, I've got wood, and I've got hatch. So let's go into the inventory screen. Yes, I can craft a pickaxe. Excellent. Yes. Now how many bashes does it take for this rock to just vanish? Wow, okay, not very many at all. Prehistoric Pete is ripped. It's all those neck muscles going to work. Well, let's put down some foundations. This looks like a nice spot. And we'll attach another foundation next to that. Bam! And we can bring this out and have like a nice seaside home. Now, one worry is if I build a house, is that freaking Bronto going to just trample it like a mother trucker? Probably not. He looks, he looks friendly. There's a dinosaur over there though. That's a quick one. What's he doing out here? Oh, some animals over there as well. This looks like a much better place to live. And if I look at the map, yeah, we're still very much on the top right coast. Way away. Oh, what's... Oh, a little oasis. 
this is it. This is the place to set up home. Okay, we're going to relocate out here. Looks good to me. So many trees. We can just grab all the thatch. We need to put down some fast foundations again. Oh. Oh. Stay back. Stay back. Bam. So we're going to create a house of four. And that seems like an okay size for like a beginning. Oh man, is that thing going to crush my thatch house? Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Okay, looks like this rude dude is backing off. Just gotta be careful, man. His whole tail could wipe out my entire- Whoa! My entire house! What's he doing? It's like he's tempting fate. I wanna stay well away from that thing. Alright, a thatch wall! Perfect! Oh, what's- Wait! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Looks like we've got some rock carrots! I guess they- Shit! I guess they grow on rocks. Is that- Is a pterodactyl? Is that carnivore? Should I be worried? I'm okay for the time being. What's he doing? Why is he stampeding? So we need two more. More thatch. Thatch for two more walls. Hunger's good. Dehydration's good. We'll just have a cup of drink of water. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'm encumbered. What have I picked up? Oh, too much wood. Again. Get some more of these Savo roots. Like... Wait! Whoa! Easy boy! Careful! Oh my god! Does he want to kill me? He's running at me! And he's freaking terrifying. Look at the spikes! I think he's he's looking at me! What's he doing? Is he a carnivore? <laughs> Stay away! Stay the hell away! <gasps> oh, fuck! We went. <laughs> Why did I decide to live here? There's a freaking T Rex! What do I do about that? If I lay low, he might not find me. There's plenty of other dinosaurs around for him to eat. Oh, shit. He's on the prowl, though. He's looking for things to eat. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to go near the T-Rex. Oh, shit. I don't think he's coming this way. Oh, it works! Now we just need two more pieces of wall and a roof, and we're safe. Oh shit, why are there so many dinosaurs coming to say hello now? So thank you guys for joining me on this ARK adventure. It's probably going to be Harry and Mike that join me for some prehistoric punk action. But I want to make sure that when we get going, we can uh, really kickstart our progress. Have like a little base of operations. And I can help those guys uh, do some cool stuff. Fuck me. Oh my god. Are we gonna be safe here? Whew. Okay. Safe inside my little hut. Oh god. Alright, now we can start loading this up with stuff. Tea to transfer. Fiber. Lots of fiber. The narco berries I shouldn't need for a while. Stones are heavy, so we shouldn't keep them on us. And metal's pretty cool. More of that fiber stuff. Okay, let's go and see if Mr. T-Rex has gone yet. Cold. Oh, he's still up there. Man, he's like a menace, like a plague. I see you, friend. One day I will ride you. And we'll stomp on into Duncan's camp and eat Simon. <laughs> okay, so the next mission is to get a permanent respawn point. Otherwise, we appear on the beach miles away. So we're going to go to the coast. We're going to bash something. And take its stuff. Wait, what is that? <gasps> it's a washed up corpse. And a tiny little shit. I've got my club. Do you want, should we knock this sucker out? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Wild female dilophosaur. Level 14. Oh, shit. Okay, it's, it's hostile. 
can take him. Just knock him out. Now this is the true... No, oh, don't spit! Oh... Come back here. He's running. He's low on health. Get your ass back here, boy. He's knocked out. Sweet. Okay. So, put food in inventory to tame. So, we'll put some narco berries in there. And what do you think he's going to want to eat? Maybe some carrots. Maybe some major berries. I think it needs food that it eats. Should we chop up this? This is amazing. This is a real bounty. Plop. Okay, this guy isn't liking the berries, is he? Put some spoiled meat in there. He might like that. Dinosaurs have resilient stomachs. I need to kill something that has meat. I really want one of those spitting dinosaurs. Hello! What are you? Oh, maybe I can get a pet one of these instead. Tinto. Feed a Tinto berry to tame. What if I just knock it out? Can I knock it out? Wild male Lystrosaurus. Nice. Maybe I should kill it. What the hell is that out there? Is that a rock or like a floating thing? Let's knock it out. Come here, you little pig. You little shitty pig. Unconscious. Perfect. Wait, I can't... Okay, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill the little pig. I'm sorry, little pig. I'm sorry. Let's get the meat. Twelve raw meat. Okay. Now, I think our little buddy's gonna still be unconscious. So we can feed him this raw meat. I did a poo. Maybe he eats poo. Hey, what's up? Sorry about your friend. Okay, raw meat. You like meat, don't you? Name your Dilophosaur! Yes! Ah! Oh. Now this guy needs a truly menacing name. Danny. Danny Dilophosaur. Is he gonna follow me? Yeah! Oh, my own little combat pet! Holy shit! Now, how bad do you feel about killing your own kind, Danny? Because there's a rude dude over here that we can waste. Let's get him. Let's get him, Danny. Let's get your brother. Did you see him? Did you see him, Danny? He's a spitter. Save me, Danny! Save me! Yeah! In for the kill. Danny! Danny, you're a real mother trucker! Oh, we're gonna waste Duncan and Simon with a wild dill oh, It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so good. Back home at last. Oh my god, the T-Rex, he's so quick. Welcome to your new home, Danny! Right, so we've got the hide now. We can put down a sleeping bag, which we can then turn into a bed. Can Danny stay inside, or does he want to, like, live outside? He's gonna poop, isn't he, at some point? Let's check his inventory, see how much he's eaten since we got him. So, he's still going well. Spoil time, half an hour. Oh, what? And Danny is a girl! Oh, I've got to rename him, then. Can I rename him? I guess Danny is, 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 is a name you can use for both sexes, so sure, whatever. What the hell? Why is that dinosaur stopped by the fire? No! He's gonna walk into my thatch house! Ah! Man, why are these dinosaurs living near me? Maybe I could put up some fences to stop these guys walking in on me. Make this oasis my own. Whoa! Do you mind? What are you doing? Don't know what sh Oh my god. It's- <laughs> It's not- It's only made of thatch! Oh! He just whacked me! This piece of trash! I think he's actually smashing my house. Okay, I put down the bed. So that means if I die this night... Oh, my health's coming back up, thank God. Are you okay, Danny? Where's that big, ugly brute? He's left. He's in the water. Come in here, I'm gonna close the door.
Okay, so it looks like we are good to go. Our health is slowly coming back. Oh man, I had a, I had a moment of worry there. We're going to put some more points into health. I've got 28 Ingram points to spend. So, Parasaur. We saw a Parasaur earlier. Oh, it's, it's a bold dream. But I'm going to learn it. And I could even craft one right now. I've got the fiber wood and hide. Plus, we can also upgrade our building to wood. A wooden cage. A portable cage in which to imprison victims. Ah. So if we capture Duncan or Simon, we could put him in a cage. That's pretty wild. But that's it for prehistoric punks. So join me next time when I'll hopefully have another friend. I'll invite some dudes to join the tribe. And we can go crazy in this dinosaur landscape. I've already got my first pet. We've got a little house. We've got a bed, some chests. We've got a great staging post to go forwards with. So till next time, guys, take care.